What up, what up, what up, Unbreakable Kicks Army. So we did go live this morning for the Air Jordan 1 Handcraft and the Yeezy 350 Beluga, the reflective drawing. I want to say this is the first time that they have done reflective Beluga. So your boy got him in hand and I'm excited to see him. But before we get to that army, y'all been following me on Twitter like never before. I want to say we gained... Well, we have like 1,100 right now on Twitter. So if you want to stay up to date on all the information, if you want to stay, you know, hip to when things are restocking, etc., make sure you follow me on Twitter right now. My link is in the description section. My link is the first one for Twitter. Okay, so make sure you follow me on there. Back in August, my Twitter account got hacked, so I had to create me a new one. But I've hitting the PlayStation since I got back on Twitter a couple days ago. I've caught a couple restocks, so sneakers on Twitter, like information, again, is so much better than Instagram, so make sure you are following me over there. Also, Army, tomorrow night, we will be going live to talk about Spider-Man No Way Home. So, my old channel, UBK Fam, I'm turning that into a Marvel DC movie type channel where we can just talk and debrief about certain movies and certain topics so make sure y'all follow me over there i cannot wait to discuss spider-man no way home tomorrow night the link to the new channel is in the description section below as well right under the twitter link so make sure if you are into marvel if you into dc comics if you just want to talk about things other than sneakers that's like movie related make sure y'all follow me over there now in hand right here i got Two pickups that dropped today, and honestly, the only two main things that really dropped today, I know that uh, JD Sport had restocked on like the Shimmers today, they restocked, I want to say, on the Seafoams, and again, all of that information was found off of Twitter, so make sure y'all are following me on this again, so that way y'all don't miss it, but I did wind up getting the personal and the Yeezy 350s, and I was able to get a personal and the Jordan 1 handcraft now a lot of people was not rocking with the retro ones a lot of people wasn't rocking with them but they still sold out i feel like the main prize today for a lot of people was the yeezys so let's go ahead and talk about these joints because tomorrow i will be dropping my video going over 24 of the new air jordan releases that we will be getting in 2022 i told y'all that it was going to be a lot of good stuff and most of y'all already know majority of the stuff, but for those who don't know, I will be dropping that lengthy video tomorrow. So make sure you hit that thumbs up, make sure you hit the subscribe button, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos. So, we got the Air Jordan 1 Handcraft. Box look basically like the Air Jordan 1 prototype, but it's just a different color. And to be honest, with the prototypes, the box looked better than the shoes. With these, I'm pretty sure the box looks better than the shoes. So, let's read the label. Label reads Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. Colorway is Black Archeo Brown. And this is a size 11. Retail on these was regular 170 plus tax. We got the brown paper right here. Now let's check these out. It's just something about shoes that remind me of the man. This suede up top is very, very soft. Very, very soft. But anyways, it's just something about Air Jordans that remind me of biohacks that I just can't get jiggy with. Quality on these is phenomenal. Now, they did a mock-up of the Air Jordan 1 mochas last year. And it was this color brown. The toe was white. You had the brown up here. You had the brown back here as well. And those was not half bad. They honestly could have dropped, if they would have dropped these joints with this white colorway right here on the side panel, white down here on the midsole, this black down here on the outsole, and just this brown going up right here around the toe cap and on the back and down here as well, fire. I would have 100% kept these, but I just can't get it with like this prototype vibe. You do got 3M over here too. The Jordan wing emblem is different. The inside, the sock liner, in which I just noticed, is the same sock liner that you have on the Air Jordan 12 Royalties. They're like quilted looking sock liner. So, it's a lot going on with these. The joints do come with some spare laces. Got some black laces. 
and kind of got like these white laces right here as well. And you also got like, that's kind of different. You got like some black and like peach laces that's tied together. So I want to, I don't know if this is all one lace. Now I did see it is all one lace. This is weird. I've never seen that before. So the black, it starts off with a black lace. And then it goes up to like this orange colorway, the same orange, or like, yeah, this orange, like peach colorway that we have on the Nike Air at the top of the shoe. So, I, I'm still not really rocking with these like that. I did hit a size 10 on Sneakers app as well, so it will be interesting to see exactly what these do down the line. Now, really quick, for those who do love Yeezy 350s, let's go ahead and check out the Belugas, Label Reads, Yeezy Boost 350. V2 colorway is Beluga. You know Yeezy got the weirdest color. Solar red, steel gray. That's what I'm going to go with. This is a size 12. And this is my personal pair. Now the retro ones and the Yeezys, I did get exclusive access on JD Sport. So those were easy Ws. But I, I also was able to hit a gray school size on the Flex with the ship to me option. And the crazy thing with that is that in Chicago or like Chicago area, the men's sizes in the Yeezys are, you know, why not? I don't even want to say widely available. You got a couple spots that get them. Now, the grade school, toddler, and like infant pairs, we don't really get that many of those in store. So, for them to have a ship to me option is dope because for, you know, the people who don't actually get Yeezys in their local store, you can still enter on a flex and you can still get a chance of actually, you know, doing it with the ship to me. So that's how I was able to hit the grade school because grade school Yeezys, I've never hit a grade school Yeezy on flex until today. And it was thanks to the ship to me option. So, and it's not, I don't want to say weird having these, but I haven't had the OG Belugas in a very long time. And for them to throw the reflective material on these as well, that's pretty dang on dope, man. So, Army, we're going to go ahead and jump on the turntable. I'm going to look at both of these, give you guys an up-close personal look. And at the end, we can go ahead and decide who actually won today's battle. To keep it a bug, I want to say Yeezy won today. Yeezy may have jumped over Jumpman today. Let's check it out. All right, Army, got the box on the turntable. And low-key, box is nice. Remind me of the prototypes, especially with, like, the, the little cutout KE right here. But I don't think you can do... These like you can with the prototypes. I wouldn't suggest that. I actually like these better than the prototypes, but still. Let's go ahead and check out the label. Label reads Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. This is a size 11. Colorway is black Archeo Brown. One thing I have noticed, and it started really with the cool grays from sneakers, JD Sport, Finish Line, etc. Some of the shoes did not come with suggested retail tags on these. So I'm not sure if this is a new thing that Nike is doing because they going up in prices or what the case may be. But I know some people have pairs from sneakers out with cool grays that didn't come with the suggested retail. I picked up a gray school while I was in New York a five and a half and it didn't have the suggested retail so i'm not sure what's going on with that but if y'all been seeing that as well y'all let me know all right again check out the box the box is pretty dope the joint do come with like this paper right here not the traditional white uh, smacking the joints on the turntable again we do got a spare pair of black laces and like this white could be like an off whitish color Y'all know my colors be bad, but we got two different spare pairs of laces. Looking at the Jordan Wing emblem, this reminds me of like an old grandpa sweater or something. It's it, it just giving me like a, a corduroy vibe right there. As you can see, this part of the sneaker, it does have 3M on it. We got an all black outsole. We got some nice brown suede on these joints. Nice brown suede. I love it. We got our 3M hints going around the toe cap as well. We got different colors back here. We got like this purple color. It's just a color contrast on these that Jordan brand decided to go with. I just wasn't a big fan. Like brown and purple, like, bruh, I I'm not big on the color combos that they've been going with. This looks like a green right here. You got black, like a white or a cream, brown. You got like a peach colorway. You got purple. You got silver. It's just a lot going on with these. Check out the sock liner again. Like I told y'all, sock liner remind me of like the Royalty 12s. Going back this way, let's check out these laces again. The laces. So you got black laces. It starts off with black laces 
and then it starts to go into like this orange or peach color. And you can tell right here because it's all one lace. This is all one lace right here, but they got, you know, two colors on there. So that's new. And I, and I like it because it kind of reminds me of how like some of the unions was looking. You know, the unions had those weird laces as well. So it's kind of giving me like union vibes with the laces army. So let's go ahead and turn on that 3M right quick. All right, got the 3M going on and you can see exactly where the 3M is popping on these. Because of the suede, I definitely highly recommend you guys get some rejuvenated water and stain repellent. Look at the booty backstroke motions on these joints. Nice booty backstroke motions on this suede right here. So make sure you protect your suede. It's cold, wet, and rainy in Chicago today. So I would definitely spray these joints with the water and stain repellent before I was to put them on. Let that sit for about 15 to 20 minutes. Then you're good to go. I say make sure you spray your shoes every couple wears to make sure that you are, you know, keeping a decent coat on it and you won't damage your shoes. Y'all know I got my link to Rejuvenator in the description section below. It takes you straight to Rejuvenator. You see your discounts at checkout. And the code is good for everything on Rejuvenator website. Not just my favorite products, but everything on the website you get that discount for. Now, switching over to the Yeezys, as you guys see, standard Yeezy box, nothing special, 350s. We've seen them. We've seen them a million times. Check out the label. We got Yeezy Boost 350 V2. Colorway is Beluga Reflective. Steel Gray Solar Red. We got our regular Yeezy paper in here. Nothing special. Let's take them out. Smacking the joints on the turntable. And the reflective is decent on these. You know, this is my first reflective Yeezy. I've yet to hit a reflective Yeezy. Because we know the reflective joints go for more. I don't know why. You know, ain't like most people like, hey, you know, my Yeezys got reflective. Can you tell? You know, you really can't tell. Personally, I think that these look better without the reflective on it. The reflective with the gray is not really popping like a black pair. I think the black reflective, you know, sneakers actually look a lot better and the white. But if you've seen the Belugas before, it's the same exact shoe. The Belugas are dope because it really started the whole V2 train, bro. For real, for real. It really did. And, um... I mean, it's a classic colorway when it comes to Yeezy V2. So this is it. This is a personal. I do plan on keeping them. Hopefully they make it to 2022 because y'all know how your boy he is. But as of right now, I do want to keep them. These are size 12, my personal pair. So you got the Yeezy Belugas that dropped today. And on top of that, as you guys just seen earlier, you got the Air Jordan 1 Handcraft. Now, again, as mentioned, Definitely grab your rejuvenated water and stain repellent, especially for like this canvas and cloth material for your Yeezy. I've seen some dirty Yeezys, bro, and that's definitely because y'all ain't spraying them with the water protector. So make sure y'all protect the shoes, get your shoe cleaner, your sneaker wipes, all that good stuff. Let me get these joints one more quick 360, and then we jump back in front of the camera to end the video off. All right, Army, now that you guys have seen the Air Jordan 1 handcraft, and you guys have seen the Yeezy 350 V2, the Beluga Reflectors. How do you feel about it? Who won today? I feel like a lot of people was after the Yeezys over these Jordan 1s. It was just a bad, I don't want to say a bad week for Jordan. Because you still have people who actually wanted these. Me, on the other hand, I 100%, I don't even want to say 100% didn't want them. Because, of course, I still get the shoes so I can give you guys the review. So, if you guys did hit on Sneakers app, Bam, now you know what to expect when these joints come in the mail. If you did hit online on Yeezy Supply, etc. for the Yeezys, because these dropped at a lot of places. I want to say they said it was about a million pairs of these that dropped, but it dang sure didn't feel like it. Let your boy know how y'all feel about both of these in the comment section below. Also, again, Army, do not forget to subscribe to the Marvel comic book just extravaganza. You know, just, I don't want to say non-sneaker related topics because i want to stick it you know strictly to like movies and things of that nature but you know if y'all into that man y'all still want to support your boy break make sure y'all subscribe to that channel i do have the link under the twitter link so once you follow me on twitter with the first link then click the next link and subscribe to the new channel i want to see if we can get to 10,000 subscribers before the end of the year 
I haven't used that channel in, in about a year and a half, so I know it's going to be some work to kind of get the machine turning again, Army, but with y'all help and support, anything is possible. So again, Army, y'all let me know how y'all feel about these two sneakers that released today. And other than that, you got your boy Unbreakable. You got the Unbreakable Vault. You got the Air Jordan 1 Handcraft. You got the Yeezy 350 V2 Beluga Reflective. You got your boy Unbreakable. Watch Spider-Man today. I'm giving y'all today... And I'm giving y'all to around like 7, 8 p.m. tomorrow to watch Spider-Man so we can talk about it. Army, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Stay strong like always. Hug your loved ones. And of course, remain humble. And we out.